Angela Caldwell and her five children passed the warmest hours of a recent Wednesday at the YMCA in City Heights. Nine-year-old Justin cools off in the pool while Audriel and Gabriel, six and seven, practice with their basketball team. As other families head home after a day at the Y, the Caldwells pile into their minivan, which they also call home. Five years ago, if you had told me that this is where I would be, I would have been devastated. The family moved from Michigan two months ago, traveling across the country in their van. They came to San Diego to be closer to Caldwell's ex-husband and father of her children. But the housing she'd hoped to find didn't pan out. And just a couple of days later, the family was homeless. She says she doesn't want to let that deprive her kids of their childhood. So she keeps them busy. In some way, when they remember this moment, they'll think, wow, we were homeless? Really? We were standing in our van? That's crazy. We did it. This, 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 and this, and this. A caseworker at St. Vincent de Paul said the family could sleep on mattresses at the rescue mission. Or they could check out a parking lot program on L and 28th Street near downtown San Diego. My children will say, is it time for us to go to the lot? You know, after they're done, because they don't want to be late coming here, which is really funny. But it also tells that this experience to them isn't like the worst case scenario for them. They actually look forward to the end of their day coming here for right now. The parking lot program provides a safe place for homeless people to sleep in their cars. Still, it isn't permanent housing. The Caldwells are on waiting lists for a few shelters around the county, but Angela says it isn't easy to qualify. Like some shelters that are for women and children only allow one or two children, two at the max, you know, so then I don't qualify for those, and that was several. I looked into the hotel vouchers, and the hotel voucher program was the same thing. I have too many children. A lot of people who come to a situation like mine are met with a lot of judgment. Look at how irresponsible they are. You know, I went to one transitional housing place and it was almost as if they were trying to find a history of drug addiction or mental illness and there was none. You know, some days it's really gotten to me. Um, then I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm really sleeping in my van. Five years ago, my son had cancer, um, and in the hospital with him, I was always just wishing for better days. I was always projecting that in the future, I could give him a normal life. Man, it's hot. Caldwell is currently unemployed, hoping to work from home one day. She says her situation is temporary. You know, someone said, yeah, it's just a season. I said, no, it's intermission. You know, we're out getting popcorn right now. Then you go in and you're going to see the rest of the show. And I'm going to have a grand finish. <laughs> As the street lamps flicker to life over the parking lot, the family climbs into their van for the night. Tomorrow, they'll get up and start it all over again.